Previously on T-Man 978. It's like this on the inside. We have the actual Hot Wheels Optimus with the Hot Wheels stuff in the background. We have the instruction sheet right here that pulls out behind this instruction sheet. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. The rare facial appearance. But I'm at the Maryland Toy Show 2024. So let's see what they got. This is my first time seeing something outside. I see the retro GI Joe stuff. And yeah, yeah. Here's their sign this year. Well, at least at this building. Uh, let's see what we got here. If I can see. Um, we got some waifu statues. Let's work our way from one side to the other. Whatever this is. Oh, I think I remember him. Yeah. <laughs> Unique toys. The cannon. I guess that's reflector. I have most of this stuff, most of that. Snake eyes. It just appeared out of nowhere. I don't know what's happening here, but uh, we're going to just have its crucible over there. And hopefully I don't run over somebody. But, all right, look at this, some type of gaming thing going on. Hello, good. I get to thank you guys in person. One, um, I don't know who exactly, but somebody sent me a Savage Lemurian to review. Okay, I'd be a gentleman if they're wrong. All right. Here are the human people that you guys have been in the dwarf. These are the we have Fully articulated. Hello. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, because this is an army builder. I was told He's these go on pre-order at the end of the month, and they'll be available before the end of the year. You got the armory package. This is just a look that you can accomplish with that. Apparently, there's a Smash contest. Smash Bros. Whatever's going on there. Um... Let's look at this booth. This DC Multiverse. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Got some decent prices. Man, it is warm in here. I drank half of a water bottle and started sweating profusely. I almost regret it, but I probably needed that water. Black Widow. Hmm. You know, I've never seen this Craven until now. I forgot all about him. Wow. I 
have these two, thankfully. I got this guy, I think. Oh, I have a version of it. You know what? Now that I'm doing this, I don't even feel like filming. <laughs> so you're welcome for whatever happens next. I think this is HasLab. Well, look at these guys. I actually bought this one twice. Oh, look at these. Okay. I think that's Dr. Wu. Man, these look amazing in person. I might end, leave here with that. These mini bots are way bigger than I remember. Way bigger. Seeing lots of Transformer stuff. Hey, Luke. What's happening? I'm not seeing. Maybe the go bots. <laughs> not as good Transformers. <laughs> yeah. I like the GoBots. I, I, go go I do too. I like them too. My favorite one's the Fork Yeah. Hey, plain, no deco. How much is it? Smoke screen. I've never. I know, Blue Street. There's two block concepts. Yeah, I've never owned that. Wow, five dollars. I don't even know what these are. Oh, statues. Wow, these are some good ass prices. seeing that box more than actually playing with the toy. But, um, I want to get in here, but yeah. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Man, eat faces. Is that really 12 bucks? Tempt me. Mm. I always wanted many faces. Yeah. I actually have this two times. Here's what this whole place smells like. This fudge smells like um, cinnamon. The whole building. <laughs> I don't know how much it is, but I'm betting it's expensive. Printed things. They look actually posable. And then we actually. Oh, sorry. Okay. If you want to go to the shop. Oh. There you go, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. The texture on this looks so weird. It almost looks like fur. 
but I guess it's the 3D printing situation. Let's zoom in on that. In fact, let's touch that. It doesn't feel like fur. <laughs> Feels like light plastic. See video games. You know what I never see? Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I wonder if I own this. Here's what we got at this booth. Oops, sorry. I don't own this, but I don't want a $60 on it anyway. I do own this. I don't own him, but uh, I don't really like this color scheme. Uh, this is with my daughter. She likes Monster High. Yeah, Elvira Monster High. That would creep me out of my house. These are probably things I already own and everybody else. saw this for cheap and now uh, didn't buy it. Rust. Hey, how much it cost? How much it cost for money now? That's Apparently, somewhere over here, they have third party transformers. And I don't see where that might be. I also don't know what more you guys might want to see. Probably that transformer area. Fake Skeletor. 
Wow, I've never seen this packaging. This is small. $30, that's crazy. They were 15 bucks on the website. These are on Hasbro Pulse for cheap right now too. Unless they sold out. Oh, I used to want this bad. Devastator. He's rotten on my shelf. This is a hundred dollars. Mike Tyson, 150. I guess that's relatively cheap. You want to hear something crazy? I actually own this. This box looks different than I remember, but Extra Zero got me that. Muhammad Ali. You know what's funny? And this might be bad for me to say out loud, but. I noticed since the last time I came here, like, <laughs> it's like there are several unsupervised special need people. And it be seeming like sometimes they probably need supervision. $85. Yeah, no. If I had more money, I'd get them. These are things I have never seen. This is probably a bunch of stuff my daughter would be interested in. Especially that. I, I was mad I never heard about this until it was sold out. I probably would have definitely tried to get that for her. But not for $300. Which new Scooby Doo? Come in. I think I said this last time, there used to be a corner store, I had that for $20 and I never could get that for $20. And now it's $4.50, yay. Yeah, these are the high prices over here. actual retro stuff that Hasbro is selling again and now I see why they went with those flimsier cards because these are nowhere near as thick as they are now wow this is crazy all these scooby doo people in one box Oh, found a cool transformer section, but yeesh. I paid twenty dollars for that. Um, 
scan that, you can see the store. I've never seen this wind blade when it was in Titan's Returns. Yikes. These are Missing Link before Missing Link existed. Holy moly, what the fuck? Oh man. I need to get my ass out of here. These prices are ridiculous. Good night. I used to own that Optimus Prime. That was the first MP10 I had. I paid significantly less. <laughs> oh boy. Let me get the hell out of here. Holy moly, I sold a few of those for like 40 bucks <laughs> 10 years ago. Good night. This is G1. You know, it's funny when it was earlier, it seemed like Okay, twenty dollars for SH Big Parts and Naruto. Yeah, I definitely might get that unless somebody walks away while I'm looking around. See, you go from crazy prices to good prices. You never know what you're going to find at a convention. I don't know if they're statues or they're actual figures. Holy Shiznar. I don't know. They have all these egg attack things I know cost a lot for $30. That is nuts. Small play arts kai stuff. Right. I didn't even realize they were that small. Jordan or Extra Zero just told me about this guy yellowing. Look at those forearms. I'm gonna have to look at mine when I get home. These are three and three quarter inch. Yeah, I don't even know what makes that. Amazing Spider-Man. That box is heavy. Well, yeah, this might be the last of my footage because I don't feel like he's bringing my phone out. So I'll be back with my haul. I'm saying that, but I don't know. Mythic Legions is in here somewhere. I have not seen them. 
but I know Mike from Junkie on Crafts and Bills. I think he actually talked to them and had an interview type situation. So, Junkie on Crafts and Bills. Check that channel out. Thank you. All this stuff? Yeah. All this stuff. Are you man? Yes. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this in person. I, I'm not sure if i actually ever seen it. I didn't buy him, but I'm trying to get out of movie studio stuff. A little bit. Yeah, those are good prices, I guess. Hey, look. I remember seeing this. That looks just like Daisy Ridley. Man, that looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Where's the era? He doesn't have a mustache. Wow, she's a hundred bucks. I don't, I don't know if I ever seen her in stores. I swear the prices be crazy. Some places you go, the prices are like wow. Then you go to the next booth and it's like wow, what the. F so maybe I'm not done yet. I do not see the Mythic Legions booth or whatever. And I'm getting tired of walking around. And I'm hungry. Sorry to be complaining so much. But sometimes my, my honesty just flows out. Hey, Grimlock Swords. No, it's a letter opener. Yeah, look at that wheelie. Awesome. You know what's devastator this is? Third party. Well. Selling price on him is like a thousand because uh, <laughs> hubby don't want to sell it. But he's a, somebody, uh, once it Megatron though is 350 and it's complete. Oh. Which Megatron? Oh. Luckily I own that. Feel bad when he has to get the money back. I have three of them. Angel with his new wings and shiznit. I might be getting close to the Legion stuff. I actually handled the one with the white hair. And I didn't like it. <laughs> her body kept coming apart. And that's obviously Shira. Oh, I think I found. No, what is this? Never mind. Sheesh, let me find the bathroom. Actually, maybe this is the Mythic Legion area. Mm. I've been bit. Oh, it was a shame, that. man. It was just an absolute shame. Let me move. I might be getting some info that people might not want to be out there. Uh, I imagine these are regular price. 
actually like the Cosmic Legion more. I have her. And this one. Yeah, here are the prices. This alien thing looks creepy. Look at this minotaur. Some of these look really cool. I had the chance to mess with this one. Oh uh, yeah, let me get off of this footage. This is going to be the last of my footage in here. I believe once upon a time, the fairgrounds used to be home to events like this. Actually, I think this stuff still happens, because these are newer pictures, it looks like. I don't remember these pictures. And there's a whole bunch of freaking manure over there, and it smells like horses. So, yeah, this is what this place is, used to be meant for, I believe. And they probably had carnivals and whatnot out here. I didn't come out here that much when I was younger. Alrighty now, folks, let's put a capper on things. What you just witnessed was the Maryland Toy Expo, which apparently is coming back on November 2nd this year. I thought it was once a year, but it's just, it's, it's twice apparently. Um, it's at the Maryland Fairgrounds, or the, not Maryland, the Timonium Fairgrounds. Antimonium, Maryland. So, apparently, if you live in Annapolis or live anywhere near there or just want to travel there and you're in a local area, this is going on. There's the whole address, the Annapolis Toy Show, on these dates. So, apparently, I missed two already, but we have three more coming up. There you go. What did I get? I got the Savage Crucible Royal Guard. Which looks like this is the black lizard guy and he has more joints in his tail so I'm gonna review this he has the two weapons and I like the face on this one more than the previous one I got but um yeah and like I said this for this price as these figures I was gonna regret not picking that up these are like $35 at Target if you can find them at Target. Now I have seen SH figure arts on clearance sometimes at Target, but it is rare. This is a figure I have not seen there a bunch of times. So I'll pick that up. But anywho, I hope you enjoyed all the stuff you're watching. I noticed that it was loud AF in there. But anywho, thank you to everybody who noticed me and let me know that you enjoy my channel. Thank you so much. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos, click the fing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos, click those fing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit. Do it and click that shit. Freaking gun.